Hello everybody, welcome to Scotty D Gaming, I'm Scotty D and today we are going to be playing The Room 2 which is the third part in our The Room puzzle game extravaganza. So we started with The Room 4, the latest game, realised that I loved The Room series. I've just played one, finished that, we're doing two and we're also going to do three after this, let's go. So we've got the hang of the game by now, I pretty much smashed the first room. The room 4 I had more difficulty with because the puzzles were a lot more complex. Well, not more complex, but they were spread out over a greater distance. And I tend not to like puzzle games like this. But number 1 is in an enclosed space and I've heard this is as well. It's number 3 where it goes to being like number 4. Okay, click and drag the mouse to look around. Let me see what the letter is. Check the eyepiece in the... Oh, so we already start with the eyepiece. Lens is broke. Zoom out further to view the rest of the room. Ah, so see how it start. I, I like the progression of the games. Um, I just think it's funny how we started at the last game in the series and then we went to the first one and now the second one. We get to see how everything progresses. Round box. Ching. Ching. Oh. Oh. Oh, I've got the wrong one. <laughs> it's like trying to force a fucking square into a triangle slot. Alright, there we go. It's very dark. I have tried the the settings, but there's no gamma settings. Peculiar looking lens. Yes, it will. Awesome. Now we can see the demon spirits. Sometimes the eyepiece can be used to see things that are otherwise hidden. Small piece of shaped metal. I should try and find out where that goes. Should be easy enough. Probably not in the top of that. Over there, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> it doesn't seem to fit here. It's a complete wrong shape. Oh, there we go. One of these. It looks like we need another piece. Let's find our way into this box. Maybe there's another thing in this box, although I don't know. Straight away, this puzzle is the hardest puzzle we've ever faced at the beginning of any of these games. <laughs> Aha! Cess win. Cess win. Pieces missing. Question mark will glow when a new hint is available. Hints can be disabled. No, no, I like to keep the hints there because I've never had trouble with a puzzle. I've only ever had trouble with finding my way to the next puzzle, if that makes sense. Once I've got the puzzle in front of me, we pretty much figure them out, okay? Right. So, like now, we're stuck in between puzzles. A piece is missing. The Sewin is like south. East, whatever that was, you know what I mean, but that's wrong. Okay. Ah, we've got a letter. Ah. There it is, hidden. Got a letter as well. 
23rd of October 1883, Mr Rigby, suffice it to say that I do not share my colleague's faith in your character. Were it up to me, I should not engage a man of such low breeding and even lower station as yourself. The very thought of taking a grave robber into our service chills my stomach, but as Mr D. Montfaucon is fond of anything, needs must as the devil drives. It fails to me, then, it falls to me, then, to brief you on your ungodly task. As you should be well aware, you shall only be paid upon your successful return with the artefact. Should you find yourself having any ideas otherwise, I must stress to you that while the artefact is of enormous value, it is only of value within a certain small community of researchers. It is not for the eyes or hands of an uneducated man such as yourself. I unconditionally demand that you do not interact with the object in any way. It might prove incredibly dangerous for you to do so. It is an instrument of great power and should not be interfered with by inferior minds. Well then. We should probably stop playing the game for our inferior mind is not suitable. Aha. And that'll let us get this ball out. Give me the ball. I like to play with the big balls. A strange brass sphere. It looks like it belongs somewhere. Yes, it does. In here? Right, so what is it? Sess WN. Bosh. A medallion. Now we've got a square piece for the other thing over there. Light it up. We're going to look through this. Ah, oh, no, we... Aha, there we go. The demonic symbols. Oh, that's hideous. Man, I can't see shit, boy. We can't change the focus or anything? No. Oh, there, there it is. Like I've said before, put like for me, puzzle games are just the quintessential gaming experience. As much as I love shooting people, chopping up people with swords and things, I love puzzle games. There is a game which I do, and the lads, I do plan on playing it if I can find it and get it. To, I've already got it. I've got everything. I've got the real physical copy from when I was a kid, right? I want to play Muppet Treasure Island. I played that game so many times as a kid. Um, I've even got the the original. Hello, I've got the original CD copy. I've also got a copy on my laptop, but I can't play it because it doesn't work with Windows 10, and I and I haven't researched enough to find out how to run the virtual machine that allows me to play the game and record it. So it's a right fart on, but I do plan on doing it sometime.
So this is going to be visual aspect. Oh shit, what's going on here? Puzzle. Just like, there were a lot of these in the first game. What the hell is going to give us a seizure? Oh, it's got to look like that. So what is that? Straight down the middle. Welcome home. You've done well to emerge from the crypt, the sound of both mind and spirit. Though I fear this is only the beginning of your trials. We nailed that. Awesome. I love nautical themed things. I don't know what it is about. Funny enough, we've just been we've just been talking about Muppet Treasure Island, which is all nautical themed. Well, well, ships and pirates, and now we just happen to be on a pirate ship. Isn't that a coincidence? There is still no sign, and my patience wears thin. In my frustration, I even scaled the foremast myself. A fool's errand. The fog is so dense, I can barely see my own dick from the crow's nest, let alone the Helner. Regardless, I've had the gun deck ran out the cannons in readiness. It's good to keep the men sharp. I like how we've got this new little thing here for any shapes we need to make. No. Aha, there we go. Right. Why? Oh, wait there, we can see something happening here. Nice. Small gold key. But what is it for? I'm not allowed any... Okay, so we're gonna have to put a... I forgot what this front figurehead of a ship's called, it's got a special name. That's not a keyhole though, is it? Uh, where else can we go? Bang, the guns are out. And there's the keyhole. Strange shaped key. Do we have to put things in it? That is a bad boy key though. Oh, we need a piece to fix that. Ah, shiver me timber. That is the key. That is not the key. Thought it was. Nah, it's different now. But we have to make it fit. So what does this look like? Like a church. Looks like a church.
I think that's the one. <laughs> Mate, I'm too good at the game. I'm like the puzzle master. Right. I, I know, I know I'm, <laughs> it's early days yet. <laughs> it's like the second puzzle in the game. I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. Right. What are we doing here? So that needs to give me, be pushed in to open that out. So how do we... Aha. That's the first one. Imagine we slide this. What? What did it say? Fuck, I missed what it said. I don't know what it said. Looks like it can be moved. Is there a switch? I've just seen the switch. Jack and Ori. There's no switch for this one. Ah. And that's the switch for the last one. Alright, well, uh, that's fantastic, but what is it? I'm clearly missing something, but I don't know what. We can't turn it. I don't know. Aha. Two empty triangles in a full triangle. Give me that. Strange cylinder. That's the one. There's the key. Got it. And look what they've even done. Like, do you know what it is? You've got to give the makers of these games, like, credit. They've even designed the underside mechanics of the the puzzle I'm wondering if well I, I know this answer for a fact right I, I already know they not all puzzles do have like real mechanics but a lot of them do because I know in real life you can't get puzzle boxes and they're really expensive there's actually a guy on YouTube that I sometimes watch no I haven't watched him for a long time but I, he does puzzle boxes and like it's just phenomenal You sank my battleship. It didn't take long for us to track her down. We reached north for two miles on the deep sea currents to overhaul her head start. Approaching the mainland, we turned west for two miles to cut her off at the coast. With no sign, we headed three miles back. So that's the code. Three Three miles back south to meet her, we sighted her sure enough, but she can't cut through the cape before we could intercept. Now we must wait for the tide, so... North 2, West 2, West 3. Yep. 
Yeah. North too. So how do we move this? North to west to. North to west to. Three miles back south. Bosh. That's the answer? Is it the answer? Did I hear something click? I thought I did. I might have been wrong. North for two miles. One, two. West for two. Three miles back south of me. We sighted her sure enough, but she cut through the cape before we could intercept. Oh, there's a... How do you reset it? Is this, this is a button, isn't it? Ah... Uh. Oh, we did it! Oh, so it didn't matter any extras you press. I didn't realise that was a button there. You still got it right. Next. Even the elements turn against us. Passage through the cape took us four miles west. And we soon sighted her masts four miles to the north of us. Four west, four north. Oh, wait there. Four miles west. And we soon sighted her mast four miles to the north of us. Seeing us in pursuit, she cut west two miles. So what is this? Ah, okay. I get it. Pass it to the Cape four miles west. One, two, three, four. I can't do it, son. I don't know what to click, if I'm honest. Ah, you fucker. I tried that. I get what type of puzzle it is. And it's done. But I mean, as fantastic as that is, we don't have a key. I can't figure out how to move this. Nope. Fuck, I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually stuck here. I don't know what the cape is. Right, lads, I'm 100% stuck here. Right, good. Give us a give us a clue. That pillar behind the chest is something on about it.
see, this is where puzzle games spoil themselves. I can see the pillar, I can't get to it. The only metal work on the pillar looks like it could rotate. I mean, yeah, right, that's fucking fantastic, right? I can't fucking get to it, you cunt. Oh, and now we get C, C lads. Don't have your game be a cocksucker, right? If you need, do you know how the, this section here, this small section is what you have to double click to go there. If I want to go to the pillar, I should be able to double click anywhere on the pillar to go there. Not find the fucking pixel perfect place. This is what fucking spoils puzzle games. Just need to show you. Right, how then let's fuck about with this. Now we've got the key. Light it up. There we go. That's what we had to do. Makes sense now. So, four west. Six west. Ha! Huh. It's not actually that. Because look, passage through the cave took us four miles west, and we soon sighted her masts four miles to the north of us. Seeing us in pursuit, she cut west two miles into a fog bank. But we didn't actually go that way, did we? That's what I'd say is the instructions on that, but that's not actually what the route we, we took, is it? Done. And this one's an Oculus one. Ooh. We have her now. The fog lifted shortly before noon and there were and there she was six miles to the south. Rapidly we closed her down and she fled each two miles back towards the cape. Now she lies north of us by just one mile. She won't reach the cape again. What is that changing though? I think we've got to find this somewhere on the horizon. That's what I think. Yeah, I'm right. like a target. Okay. Six south. Six south east to north one. Yeah, yeah. Give me my secrets. Oh, it's a bust. A figurehead. I'm sure that's. I'm sure that's got a special name. But what you put in front of ships. And you got me head jammed in the box. Ah, oh, I just seen a book there. It's been thirty weeks at sea, and the crew grows restless. Or lack of plunder. At all, lack of plunder. Though I would not betray it, I share those concerns. 
A privateer's license is a small investment and my investors will not be happy without a return. According to the prisoners we took off the Sin Espisto, we should find the Santa Helena in the waters, fresh out of New Gran Granada. They were simple swabs, ignorant of all save the workings of the decks, but they spoke of some artifact of great value aboard. I gave them a glance among my crew. There she is. Oh, we're in the in the hole. Right, we've got the model wheel. Anything else? See, we need the other piece of this. Where do you steer a ship from? The fucking back in it. Actually, don't know. Look, that's an Oculus thing. This mast is gonna fall down eventually. Yeah, you do. You steer from the back. Ah, shiver me timbers. Knew it. That's probably going to be a sail. Let's just try it. It's not going to be sail. <laughs> but we're going to get the answer from here, probably. The rose. The scarlet rose. And there it is. A scarlet rose, of course. Bang! Show me the magic. The Santa Helena came apart on rocks at 1800 hours. She heard, sorry, she heaved as if the bottom had been torn from her and began taking on water at a terrible rate. Only there were no rocks. We approached as close as we dared to try and take on survivors, but only one swarm clear of the only one swarm clear of the wreckage. He is some sort of scholar, a wild-eyed wreck of a man in tattered, blood-stained rags, clutched in the white-knuckled fist was some sort of sculpture that he babbled was of unimaginable power and worth. It seems our prize may not have gone with the Helena. I've had it moved to my quarters for safekeeping. Yes, everything around this artifact smells of death. It is the natural tendency of this world to twist itself into the ever more el elaborated arrangements. Like the spirals of a vortex, at once both the pattern and the system, it seems as though each room it is itself a part of a wider apparatus. You must tune, turn, sorry, you must tune the room to find the glyph and tune the glyph to find the door. All must be aligned, but to what purpose? Am I the explorer or the prisoner? I think you're the prisoner, mate. So their skills, I need to be on this box. Oh, a weight, okay. I thought it was an ink jar, an ink well. It's satisfying just opening doors, isn't that sad? <laughs> Get extreme satisfaction from it. Around soccer, well that's amazing. Yes, yes it is.
Oh, we've got a disc. And there's not one on the other side. So this disc is so we can open that latch, watch. Right, another weight. What is it? A square. Quite like this puzzle, just because it's easy. <laughs> what are these? Right, they're going to have some sort of meaning in a second, I imagine. Gotta go there. Oh, it's not round, it's a hexagon. then ah wait there ah triangle now where did that See, we haven't got a... Where is that? It's gonna be on the... It's gonna be on the edge of the table somewhere. See, look, there's a door down here. What's this? There's gonna be something with a cord. But I don't know where it is, but this is the code. Oh, we can turn them. What am I doing with that? Aha, look at this. Very cheeky. Oh shit, you can't do that. Oh, look, you can't do that. Has to be done like this. Oh, look, I've just realised what's happening. So, wait there, let me put that back. This goes in first. That goes in... S first. Second. No. Second there. Now, it, does this change shape? I don't think it does. It has to. Yeah, it does. It has to change shape. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Awesome. Yeah. Star. 
There's a star man. Now we're stuck. Where do we get the fourth disc from? Because I ain't got a fucking clue, mate. Unless there's something hidden. Because that makes a square. What are we trying to make? A hexagon, we can't make a hexagon with that. Oh wait there, this is... Look, we must have gotten that right because we can't turn them anymore. Oh, unless I accidentally did this and this opened that side door then that would make sense because you had to have certain circles to solve certain puzzles. So I've just did this in the right way and it's opened that door to the side. Okay, well look at this here. Ah, uh, see. Awesome. What we need to do is we need to get this in there, that through there, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, that needs to go there, oh you can't do that, <laughs> you can't do that, that's funny, real funny son, Well, we can do that. Booyakasha! Rectangle. Well, we know this isn't a rectangle, is it? It's a bloody massive hexagon. Looks like a desk. A small weight. We've got the hexagon, so on the small way it goes there, but we But wait a minute. That's not the full story. But hold on two seconds, lads, because my wrist is in a position that wrists should not be in. And it's fucking hurting. So we need to... I need to MacGyver some sort of shit here. Hold on. Hold on, lads. MacGyvering is nearly complete. Move that, put that there. Lads, I think I think we are in maximum wrist comfort action. Like I say, normally... Oh, wait there, I'm not back in the, the gaming position. Oh, there we go, we're in action. Are we in action? We're nearly in action. Just another moment. Untangle the head phonage. Right, there we go. Um, yeah. I normally like playing games with the control pad. But obviously some PC games aren't control pad compatible. And I normally just use the mouse on like the side of my like, chair arm. But when that's not possible, I use the window sill. It's much more comfortable. Oh, that is... Why did I not do this earlier on? That is... 
My puzzle solving skills would have improved tenfold if I'd done this earlier. Right, where are we? Come on then. Got the anchor and the rope. Oh, it's not, it's not a rope, it's a metal cock spring. Clock spring? It's a cock spring? Yeah! Metal clock spring. So where's the anchor? No? The anchor's normally at the front of the ship. Or not. Hmm. I don't want to be there. I want to be on the top of the fucking ship, man. What about the door? No. I think we might get a hint for this. Where would a model anchor like this be? Oh, well, I fucking know that, mate. Well, I know it'll be on the ship, but whereabouts on the fucking ship? Oh, there. A metal star? Mmm. I don't think. A metal star. Are we finished with this? I think we are finished with this table, aren't we? Oh, there's a fucking box here. Where did that come from? Oh, it's a good job we got a metal star. It doesn't even work. Are you sure? Are you sure about that? That looks like it fits in there, lads. It's a a compass, isn't it? It's a clock. Right. Did we not? Did we... What is this? Hello? Open up? That's fucked. Did we not get a cord from somewhere? Or do we use it? No, I think we used it. Ah, oh, wait there. There's going to be in the letter, isn't it? There's a time. Was there a time? 1600 hours? Sixteen hundred hours rings a bell somewhere. <sighs> Vestment, blah blah blah. I don't know, 1600 hours rings a bell from somewhere, I've got no idea. Right, uh, we'll, we'll try it. No, I need a hint. The ship's chronometer inside the box, but it doesn't seem operational. Well, that's a... Um...
Oh, you little fucker. That's what the spring's for. Oh, I never thought we'd be repairing a watch like. It looks like a keyhole, no shit. Now, do you think that thing on the side's opened up since we've opened the inside up? No. Hmm. Uh, that's that's absolutely fantastic. Now I'm fucking even more stuck than I was before. I need help. The compartment inside the crumpler has been held shut. I should look around the box for something to open it. I mean, I'm fucking trying, like, but I... Oh, look at this. What is this shit here? See, I clicked on the fucking side before and I wouldn't zoom in. That's the game's biggest problem. I can see that there's shit to do, but it fucks me in the arse all the time. This is a joke. There we go. Screwdriver, baby. Ha! Yay, yay! I mean, that's fantastic. Do we... Are we going to shut it or... Lads, we're having massive control scheme issues here, I'm telling you. I just want to shut this. Can't fucking shut it. Lads, oh, there's a fucking thing here. A winding key. Is that for that? It is. There you go. Bob's your granny. Done. I didn't like that puzzle at all. Thought it was a bit of a fuck on to be honest. It, it, it's not... Uh, the puzzle was alright. The problem is, which we've experienced in all of the room games, is the controls with a mouse are so dull and non-sensitive that it's a fucking nightmare trying to grab onto things. I want whatever's in there. Don't think we're gonna get it. I need help. I'm I'm bored of this puzzle now, honestly. I forgot. I know. Is I completely forgot about this?
Oh, it's a monocle thing, man. 250. Could have went the other way. Yeah! Ding! Ding! Right, I'm glad that puzzle's over with. I did not have much fun on that. <laughs> fuck! Fuck that puzzle, man! Yeah, it was just too awkward. Like, too awkward clicking on parts of the box. Right, key. Fuck me, I didn't even know what the key's for. See this, see, I'm already having a problem with this compared to like, I just want to be, I just want to be put the ship puzzle in front of us and solve it there and then. I don't want to have to jump between tables, it's like, you have to remember too much shit. I'm not good at remembering things. I'm, I, I work in the here and now. Okay. Got a key, but for what? Keyholes. Where the f have I seen a keyhole? It's not on here, yeah, is it? So good, it's somewhere on this box, right? That, that's happy days because I would have been looking forever for it. What the fuck? Bro. Really bro? Fuck it just tells where it is on board. Is that a keyhole at the edge of the box's lid? Jesus Christ man. Do I need to have fucking Superman's X-ray telescopic fucking Hubble Space Telescope vision? Fuck that man. I didn't want to have to pixel hunt. I just want to puzzle. Clever puzzles. Fuck that. Right, let's get this puzzle over and done with because it's a ball ache. <laughs> it's starting to really grind on us now. What the fuck am I looking at? Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a jigsaw puzzle. Yes. Oh, it's a boat. It's the boat. Hey, a diamond shaped metal casting. And guess what, lads? Oh, I ain't got a fucking clue where it goes. <laughs> oh, maybe it goes in there. Please say it goes in there. Look, look, it goes in there. There it is. Boom, there it is. Chingwe. Right, we're looking for this symbol again. Got it straight away. Right, chapter complete. Happy days. You've successfully navigated the secrets of the ship, yet this grim ordeal will become increasingly challenging. Fucking hell. If it gets any more challenging compared to that last puzzle, I think we're kind of be stopped in our tracks. Then again, it wasn't the puzzle that, like... 
Then again, I don't know, my definition of puzzle is not what, like, like... I don't know. Like, understand a puzzle box is a puzzle box. But having to hunt and pixel hunt for certain small things to interact with is not my idea of a puzzle. But we'll see. I think the, they'll get better than that, honestly. Where are we going now? Right, I'll tell you what lads, we'll call it an episode there, it's actually coming at a good time, and we'll start this next chapter fresh next episode. See you there lads.